Aquarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourself at home. I'm Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Aquarius, what's all this doom and gloom about? Hmm. What have you got for Aquarius, please, universe? What's all this doom and gloom about? Tell me more, please. Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Right. Aquarius. All this doom and gloom. Nearly there, my loves. So the overall vibe is the nine of Nine of I should check. Nine of Wands in reverse. And the cause of that is the Six of Swords. But my immediate feelings are that Did you like move away from everything that you know? You thought that this would be a good start for you. I'm gonna let go of everything. I'm gonna, you know, new life, new start. Let's just get the hell out of here. That was a knee jerk reaction, my love. In some ways it was great, yeah. But even if you're a thousand miles away, they're still on your mind, aren't they? You can't stop thinking about them. You wanna? That was the plan. If I move so far away, I'm gonna stop thinking about them. They'll be out of sight, out of mind. I got this. I can let my guard down now. Sorry. Just had a sandwich and I was like, mmm, mayonnaise. <laughs> it's alright. It didn't work out the way you planned it because there might be a thousand miles between you, but you're still thinking about them. There's that tossing and turning at night, can't get comfortable, can't get them out of your head. But there's a thousand miles between you now. It's okay, I can do this. But it didn't work, did it? Tell me more. In ooh, it got harder, didn't it? This is what all the doom and gloom is about. It got harder. You realized you realized that it was a knee jerk reaction. What were you thinking? In some ways it's been great. I feel like uh, there's some things where it's like you don't have to pretend anymore. You can actually just be anything you want to be. You don't have to pretend. You can sort of figure out who you are now. That's nice. You're not even pretending to yourself anymore. You're like, I, I can go out and I can make some new friends and I can just uh, figure out who I am now. That's great. It's good. Maybe you're making some new friends and that's nice. It's good. But that crazy illusion that you had in your mind that distance would get this person out of your blood yeah, no. Ooh. 
one of the problems is that uh, I think this person might still be quite visible to you. They could be, you know, quite present on your social media, maybe, or I don't know, they could, could be quite well known. I'm I'm seeing you going about your day, having an okay time, and then opening your phone, and like something in regards to them comes up and makes you go, <gasps> ah, I was fine, I was doing all right. You know, sometimes like on a. Uh, Facebook and even Instagram sometimes it, it, it you get this notification that comes up uh maybe you want to follow this person because other people do <laughs> that you know and you're like no, you don't want to what has anything to do with them or even like a mate of theirs you're like oh god I'm trying to escape this and it, it's popping up they might be in the public eye even, a little bit. And you're just like, I'm just trying to get away from this. I'm just trying to make a new life. Some things are great, but you're sort of feeling like, oh, I've made all of this effort for what? And there's a doom and gloom. I'll pull out another deck. Anything else Aquarius needs to know right now? It's weird that, that I pulled another deck because it didn't make any sense and I just did it and the same card came out. That was weird. In reverse. So it's trying to tell me something. I'm going to put it there. It's not talking to me at the moment, but it's there for a reason. It's come out twice. What I'm hearing even though it's not really talking to me in other ways, what I'm hearing is no more surprises. What does that mean? Tell me in the comments below if that's tickling your whatnots. No more surprises. Is that a song? Feels a bit, feels a bit David Bowie for some reason. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not connected. No more surprises. I'm making that up. All right, the King of Wands in reverse. What's coming up in the near future? The King of Wands in reverse. All right, now we're going back to the original deck. Okay. I'm going to take that off. No more surprises. We know it's there. I don't want to look at it anymore. It feels weird. It feels out of place. Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? For uh, what's coming up in your near future. Your problem is you can't get this person out of your head because you didn't have closure. It's bugging you. Even if you're not entirely sure consciously that that's what it is. Your lack of closure is what's irking you bugging you. I'm actually feeling your like stress. It's Ugh. it's 
it's like uh like acid eating away at you inside bugging you could be there eating away and eating away and then you're like ah then you feel the pain of it like, oh yeah What do you suggest that Aquarius does about that? Death. Death is about endings. This too shall pass is what my mum would say with this. My mum's a tarot reader as well. This too shall pass. You've done what you've done. You've moved away, you made this knee jerk, it's, you don't need to be in this whole doom and gloom energy. You're making new friends, you start a new life, a new job, new place to live. Yeah, distance is a good thing. It's just little things are... Uh, eating away at you and uh, there's something that has been unsaid between you I'm getting this throat chakra energy here something's been left unsaid between you that uh, this is what's eating away at you So you haven't got any answers from them. Why? Why did this happen? What you need to be doing is, if you're seeing this person on your social media, you need to just drop it for a while and not look at that, which is hard, I know. Or, you know, start getting rid of people that are connected so you don't see anything of them coming up, okay? Just have a clear out. Clear the decks, mate. You gotta clear the decks. You want a fresh start, clear the decks. This is why death is here as well. It's just like fresh start, clean, cut. A new dawn, a new beginning, it's done. That's better, that's better now. Now we've talked about this the universe that's saying like, that this has prospects now. It's not easy. What's coming up in the hold on. The best you can hope for in this situation now. You got the chariot reversed. Now that's things just not moving the way they should. Indecision. That's that's something that is coming up is the indecision about who to cut out of your life so that you can move forwards. That's that's a problem. I think you kind of need to be a little bit more brutal. If you if there's people in your life that you're like, oh, I don't know, they make me feel like this, which is a negative feeling, but I, I don't want to cut them out of my life or out of my social medias because of this. Just, just no. If anything's making you feel negative in any way, cut them out. This is important. You can't move forwards unless you're a little bit more brutal. So. Be doing that. Have a cull. Clear the decks. And sit on that for a bit. So. Get on with life. Get on with what's going on in your life. And sit on that for a bit. 
Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Because this is what's going on with this other person, is that if you are waiting for them to come back, if you're waiting for them to say, I'm sorry, or say what you're waiting to hear so that you can have closure, they're not going to give that back to you. It's I just see you waiting and waiting and waiting and never really hearing it back. And, and this is kind of saying you're going to be waiting a long time if you're looking for that to balance you out. You're just going to have to find your own balance. So the outcome here is the Empress. Tell me more about the Empress. All right, I'm getting it. When you think you know somebody, this is the problem. You thought you'd know this person. And you never know somebody. You, you just don't. I was with my ex-husband for nine years. And when it came to the end of it, I had, I was terrified at how little I knew him. It really shocked me to my core that in nine years, I who I thought this person was, who they actually were, and it shocked them themselves, See, it shocked him. He, uh, he was like, I didn't know that this is who I was, I'm so sorry. You know, he, uh, he was uh, lying to himself as well as to me. And I think one of the problems here is that this person that we're talking about here behaved in a way that was shocking to you. You never thought that they would react to, I want to say, what you told them. Something happened, you told them, and they reacted in a way that was... Just like does not compute at all. What? I, I, who are you? And then it ended and you never really got any closure. You never really got any answers from this person as to why they acted like that. Why they said what they said. Why they, why they behaved in that way. And so you ran away and you had to. And it's good. I don't always advocate running away from your problems, but in a sense, you've distanced yourself from this and that's good. You gotta distance yourself further. You gotta clear the decks. Absolutely need to clear the decks. I don't, I don't think you're gonna get the closure you're looking from, for from this person. If you are, it's gonna be a long way down the road. I am uh, seeing um, a situation that happened in my life where I didn't get closure from somebody for over 10 years. Um, it sort of feels like a similar situation. This person in my life ran away from a, a situation that they were very responsible for and uh, left me with the responsibility and um, this is what this looks like and, and it looks like I'm not saying you ran away exactly it, it, it sort of more looks like you I don't know, took initiative and was like well you know I'm just gonna get out of here I'm, 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 I've got to leave this behind I've got to put this all behind me this person, you've got to clear the decks. The only way you can let go and get on is if you clear the decks, then you're free. I'm going to take it into the extended in a minute after I've read your oracle cards, or I'm going to ask her how this person feels about you, how they see you, what are their intentions towards you. Some guidance from the universe.
oracle cards for Aquarius, please. Balance spirituality and practicality. I need another one. A win-win outcome is forecast. When it comes to balance, there balance spirituality and practicality is like yeah, you're getting on with what you're getting on with. That's great. I think this is all about clearing the decks as well, though. I'm still picking that up, so that you've got some sort of. You're not being bombarded. So you can heal. If you keep getting bombarded with images of this person, people connected to them, you're never gonna heal. You gotta you're you're out of the situation now, there's distance, so that's great. So clear the decks as much as you can. And a win win outcome is forecast. Awesome. All right, and your love lyric today is all mixed up by the cars. Oh my god! Today is the birthday of my hero, Benjamin Orr. That's his uh, autograph there on my wrist. Um, he's one of my absolute heroes. He's the one of the singers in the band called the Cars, and he sings this song, "All Mixed Up by the Cars." And take a look at the video. Um, of that song from the live gig Rock Goes to College. If you're looking for some eye candy, you will not be disappointed. Trust me. All right, my loves, if you want to watch Extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thanks for joining me. See you guys later.